What's up guys, Rexon34 back with another epic video and today we have a set we've never opened before, Legacy of the Valiant. Well, we have opened a couple of packs, but not much. Legacy of the Valiant and a set we've opened a lot, a lot of. So we have the last booster box of Battles of Legend Armageddon, probably the last box. So if you're tired of Battles of Legend Armageddon, this will be the last one unless, you know, in like five years or two years we open it or something. But this is the last box I have. I'm not going to be buying any more even if we don't get the 10K or the Utopia here, because I've opened so much of it. I'm getting kind of tired of it. I know some of you guys are, but I'm not going to sell this box because it's from a case and we've opened the entire case without one so far. So I, I'm going to finish off the case. I'm going to be done. So we're going to do search for Starlight. So Starlight versus Ghost has returned. We haven't done a Starlight versus Ghost video in a while. So we're going to try and search for the Ghost out of Legacy of the Valiant. And then we're going to try and get a Starlight from Battles of Legends. So here we go. Before we get started, the giveaway. I'll be giving away a Blackwing Elf and the Raven from Raging Battle, Magical Hats from Pharaoh's Servant, that's pretty cool, that's an original, and Summon Skull from Duelist Pack Yugi. All you have to do is like the video, be subscribed, and let me know what card you want to see from Legacy of the Valiant or Battles of Legend. All right, let's get into this. Hopefully we can pull something good. Um, I'm really hoping that we pull a Starlight from this, or else this case was a big bust. We did not pull well out of it overall, because you really can't pull well out of Battles of Legend without the Starlight if you open a bunch of boxes, because... It's just so expensive per box with not much value other than the Starlight. So hopefully we will get one. If not, it's okay. We did get one on our first case, which is pretty cool. Also, I want to remind you guys that we are... Oh, there's a Paladin of Photon Dragon. Skull Prisoner, super rare. I want to remind you guys that we do have Rage of Raw coming up this week. And hopefully we will be able to open up a couple of boxes of that on Friday and a case of that later on the weekend. So hopefully we can do both of those. That will be a lot of fun because... Oh, there's Danger Jackalope. That set has Wing Dragon of Raw Ghost Rare, and I'm extremely excited about it. Also, thank you guys for 19,000. If you guys didn't see the Blue Eyes 10 opening, check that out up there. It should have been yesterday. It was pretty awesome, and I'm looking forward to 20K, guys, because that opening, I've been itching to do that opening for so long. It's going to be so awesome. But yeah, let's see what we can do here. Let's see if we can pull a 10K again. <laughs> we do have one being graded. I have... The Black Rose being graded from that collection I recently bought. Make sure you check out that video where we spent $8,500 on that collection. I've sent the Black Rose and the Ancient Fairy Dragon First Edition in to be graded. So hopefully those will come back. And I will do videos for that so you guys can see what the grades are. Here we go. Overly Sentinel. That's cool. Black Brachios is in here. That was playable in Duel Links with those dinos. Of course, I always mention Duel Links because that's most of my dueling experience. Since, you know, after 2006. There's a Chaos Dragon. Classic. Um, actually, is this the set? Okay, I'm trying to remember what the ghost rare is in this set. I'm pretty sure that, uh, Heart Earth Dragon thing actually is a ghost rare. I just can't remember what set it's from. Mountain Sylvania. There's that paladin again. Gravekeeper's Ambusher. I've never seen that Gravekeeper. That's pretty cool. But yeah, we did have a... We do have some pretty cool videos coming up. I'm pretty ex I'm really excited for Ghost Rare Wing Dragon of Raw, guys. It's the original art. <gasps> Utopia! Utopia! Oh my goodness! Oh! We did it! I totally thought this was gonna be a bus case. Oh my goodness, this one's worth... Okay, this guy, this card is worth like a quarter of what 10k is worth, but I'm still just as excited because we've, we've opened over 30 boxes. I've now pulled both 10k and Utopia, so now we don't... Not, I wasn't gonna open any more boxes. Now I don't even need to open any more boxes. This is crazy. Check out the centering on it. It looks pretty good. We pulled Utopia. We did it. Oh my goodness, we did it. That is incredible. So it looks like Starlight versus Ghost. Will this be the first ever time we pull a Starlight and a Ghost in the same video? Wow, check that out. And check out that Astral, astral Language, which is basically a Yu-Gi-Oh! language, which is really cool. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I was not expecting that. So, so yeah, all the uh, all the extra Battles of Legend openings, they were worth it. They were worth opening like a million boxes and getting nothing. Wow. So that case turned out pretty good because we did get like three of Chaos Emperors, I think, in this in this case. And we got the Utopia. So that makes it pretty much worth it. I think we like barely break even or like maybe not even break even, but I don't really care because we got the Utopia. I think it's only worth like three 350 now. Taco Crusader. 
yeah, guys, if we pull a Ghostra in this video, that's going to be crazy. I just, I, I didn't have a video recorded for tomorrow, and I was like, okay, we've still got some Battles of Legend. We can, we can still open those up. I've got some Legacy of the Valiant. I actually have more of these, but um, I was attempting to sell them, but nobody had bought any. I don't really like to open stuff when I've sold out of there. Because, like, if I pulled the Ghost Rare, then it's like, everybody I sold to, it's like, well, you won't get a Ghost Rare. I mean, you can still get other good cards, but it's like, I mean, you could get a Ghost Rare. I mean, you could, but it's just like, the chances are low, you know? When I've opened out of a sealed box, at least. Powered Insectron. But if it's random packs, you know, obviously you guys saw my docs opening. You know, the guy pulled two Ghosts after I'd already pulled two Ghosts. So if we just, when it's loose packs, you know, anything can happen. But when it's out of a box, it's kind of like, well... I already know that the best card is gone, so you don't really want to sell stuff that wouldn't have a chance to get the best card, you know, because they're buying it with the hopes of getting it. Even if they don't get it, that's kind of what they're hoping for. Ooh, Imperial Tombs of Necro Valley. I actually have this card. I think it was out of the collection or something. I think it was a $4 card. That's nice. Nice secret rare there. Okay, it's, our, like, it's like our first... Okay, we got some supers here. I don't know what these are worth, but we have pulled those out of Legacy of the Valiant. So that's our first higher than super rare. Man, I can't believe we got Utopia, guys. We got them both, baby. We got the 10K and the Utopia. Numeron calling. There we go. Just keep up the hot streak. Oh, my goodness. Well, we're going to plus on this opening for sure. Because uh, that box is like, you know, that covers both all the packs of the year. So we haven't plussed in a while, actually. So that's pretty nice. I'm trying to remember the last time we did. Obviously, we didn't plus on the blue eyes tin. That's that's true. And then every opening with Battles of Legend, we haven't plus because Battles of Legend is like we start with 85 and we get at max like 40 bucks, you know, out of it. So it's hard to overcome that. No matter what else we open, Bujin Arasuda. I remember this guy. Standoff. Okay, there we go. Bujin Arasuda Ultra Rare. There we go. Oh, that was out of here. Yeah, these Legacy like, of the Valiants are unlimited, so we usually don't too open too much unlimited, but, you know, sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. Also, let me know in the comments, guys, do you want to see, there's a Utopic Future Slash. Let me know if you guys want to see my GOAT deck, my updated GOAT deck. Um, I have done a video on it, I'll, I'll link it up here, if I, as long as I remember. Uh, and I was talking about how I was gonna max rarity, and I have it, it's not max rarity right now, but it is way more, uh, way closer to max rarity, I should say, than it was when we first, when we first... Um, show that video. So if you guys want to see that, I also have a couple other goat decks I've been playing just for fun, and they're not as as like max rarity, but they are fun and I like them. So here we go, Starship Sky Plane. Let's let's look at these cards a little bit. Dodo Blaster. Been going a little fast since we got that Utopia. There's a uh, Mystic Beast of the Forest. But yeah, yeah. Let me know if you guys would be interested in a goat format video. All it's going to be is like going through my deck and you know looking at it, and I, I would want feedback from you guys. What you guys think about? How you play it or whatever. If you guys play Goat Format, some of you guys. By the way, Goat Format is 2005, I think April ban list, something like that. So that's where you get that from, and it was considered like a great format and stuff. So some people still play it. There's a Heretic, Dustin Roller, and Wing Sphinx. So yeah, people still play. It. It's pretty cool because you get to play with the old cards, and those are my favorite cards. I mean, I still like the new stuff, but the cold, <laughs> the cold, the old stuff's really awesome. I really like it. So. So far, we have pulled the big boy, Utopia. After, I'm trying to remember how many boxes. I think it was like 30 or 32 total. If you count, okay, Sylvan Blade Defender. That's pretty cool. It was, if you counted the blisters I bought, because I bought a bunch of blisters. So, if you counted those, it was like 30 or 32 boxes, I think, that we've opened. So, we pulled both Starlights. Technically under ratio, because you should get them. Oh, a Skull Knight, guys. That's back-to-back videos of the skull knight look at that okay this is a pretty good box we got i mean okay it's a really good box it had utopia in it but it's it's good other than that too so that's cool but yeah we pulled both um the ratios are like one in 25 so it'd be like one in 50 to pull everything there's a bujingi fox Ooh, silent honor dark i've i've always get, gotten a bunch of these that like collections and stuff there's an ultra rare version it comes in ulti as well it'd be cool to get an ultra rare in here as well Obviously, Ghost Rare would be insane. Getting a Ghost and a Starlight in the same video would be awesome. Especially, like, with not mass opening, you know? Just opening one box. Basically, 24 of each. Well, it was 24 of each, but basically one box of each. The These are from a 100-pack box, and these were from a 24-pack box, so... 
Let's see, shift. There's a P, a peacekeeper. For Dre, I right, man, I love some of these cards that just have those little puns in their name. It's pretty good. Man, Utopia, guys. We pulled Utopia. Let's go. By the way, let's just check this out again. We pulled this. Look at that card. That is extremely cool because it's not in English and it's in an English set. I mean, it's just so cool. The first time they've ever done that, I think. So, I mean, that's that's pretty awesome. Monarchs Awaken. Ooh, some of these ghost tricks are worth something, I think. The Sylvans, all oh, those those bring me back. Tell me, let me tell you guys. Bring me back to you know what. You know what. Okay. Fire Flint Lady. There's the heart. Heart of the Chaos Dragon. Can't go without it. Alright. Legacy of the Valiant. Let's see if we can pull an ulti or a ghost. A ghost, a ghost would be awesome. Leo. Okay, Wing Sphinx. But also, if we don't pull a, pull a ghost, I can sell the other packs. I could. Probably going to end up opening them, though, on the channel. But I don't know what I'm going to do. Darkness Metal and Book of Moon. Darkness Metal is actually like a $3 card, which is really good for this set. There aren't too many $3 cards. So, nice to pull that one. There are $300 cards, though, because we just pulled it. Here we go. White Dustin. Gravekeeper's Ambusher again. Luminous Dragon Ritual. All right, we've got... Uh, what four packs of each left okay four packs of each left so far the starlights are killing the ghost rares like it's it's pretty much over unless that we pull a ghost rare over here but value wise the ghost rare team is in trouble because just in general the ghosts are not worth as much or these random ones ghost trick mary that might actually be a decent card it's in the mirror that's creepy oh i always love this guy swordsman from a distant land that is a sweet looking card Okay. Battles of Legend. What else could you possibly have in here? It's already been crazy. There's a cross sheep. Just adding on, piling on. Polar Penguin. Alright, Laval. You're going to need something big to come back. Like, I don't even know what the best card in the set is. I didn't even look. Usually I look. I didn't this time. Let's see. I just had a great feeling about this opening. I was like, not even going to have to look it up. There it is. Swordsman from Distant Land again. Okay. Five packs left. Let's see if we can pull another epic card. Our final few packs of Battles of Legend for good. <laughs> yeah, so some of you guys will be happy to hear that. But I'm also super happy we opened. The funny thing is, 10K and Utopia both came out of the last pack. The first Monarch Secret Rare. Nice. And the thing is, um, they were the last, the last box. But I think one of the cases was upside down. So it might have actually been like the first box on one of them. But the last box I opened on both cases, we got it. So that is like super weird and cool at the same time. Okay. So I'm glad we opened this. Artifact Ignition. See, like, if I, I told you guys, if I had sold those, I would be so mad. I would be so mad at myself. Like, not because of the... Like, I probably would have still, like, made the same amount of money on it. But, oh, there we go. Gravekeeper's Oracle. Or Oracle. Oracle. That's a sweet card. But I wouldn't have gotten to pull the, t the uh, Utopia, which would have really sucked. Gravekeeper's Oracle. That is a... He's got, like, hair all over his head. It's so weird. Okay. Last pack of Battles of Legend for good, guys. We've already pulled everything you can pull. We've pulled every card in this set now. We, we, we conquered this set. We did it. Oh, there we go. Artifact Sanctum. So now we can move on, and we can conquer Rage of Raw. How about that? You guys ready for Rage of Raw? All right. Let's see what the total score was here. I'm going to separate these out, and we'll see. All right, guys. From the ghost side. From Legacy of the Valiant, we pulled ba Powered Insectron, Mount Sylvania, Skilled Prisoner, or Skilled Prisoner, Sylvan Blade Defender, Ghost Rick Mary, Bujin Arasuda, Number 101 Silent Honor Dark, Gravekeeper's Oracle, The First Monarch Secret Rare, and Imperial Tombs of Necro Valley Secret Rare. Two Trap Secret Rares. Then from Battles of Legend, the Starlight Side, we pulled Book of Moon, Fire Flint Lady, Fire Flint Lady, Cross Sheep, Artifact Sanctum. Danger Jackalope. Numeron Calling. Oh. Darkness Metal, the Dragon of Dark Seal. And Fossil Warrior Skull Knight. So it's pretty close. You know, pretty close. And then, of course, the Starlight's pulled. Boom. Utopia. We did it. Starlight Rare. Astral Language. Out of Battles of Legend First Edition. Yes. We conquered the set, guys. That was incredible. I hope you guys did enjoy the video. You're either extremely excited we pulled this. You're excited we're done with Battles of Legend. You're excited about both. 
Honestly, I'm excited about both. I'm tired of that set. Not going to lie. But I'm not I'm not sad that we opened all those to get this card. So that was incredible. We're definitely sending this one in to get graded. And we, I mean, we got so many incredible cards being graded right now. So let me know in the comments what you guys thought. Let me know what kind of videos you want to see coming up. If you're excited about Rage of Raw, let me know what you want or what you enjoyed from this video for the giveaway, all that stuff. Make sure you use my TCG Player and eBay affiliate links below if you guys want to support the channel. And of course, subscribe for the 20,000 subscriber opening. I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching. Peace. Oh! Yes. Oh. Elemental Hero, Dark Bright. Boom! Oh! <laughs> <laughs>